everyone, welcome to this week's Caddo at the Chateau, where our special guest from last week is still here, though I think by the time you watch this... I won't be here. You won't be here anymore. No, uh, some um, exciting things are happening back at home. At the cottage. At the cottage and at the chateau, and I really need to get back and film them, because Willie's not filming um, vlogs at the minute, so... Um, so I'm hoping I can't that miss any of it. By the time this goes out, you should have seen a big Michael Patrick back at Baminia vlog. You definitely will. Yeah. yeah. A big triumphant return. But I just need to get back. I've got so much stuff to do, um, and it's... Um, well, there's exciting announcements coming up. There's a few Bamania. exciting yeah, announcements so coming from Baminia. Stay tuned. So a few big, big announcements, um, but we, uh, we'll have to wait and find out what they are. So keep watching the channel. <laughs> and in the meantime, I'll get you a gift. Thank you very much. Ta-da! Oh, it's a big one. I hope you like the presentation of that. I, I, I love the presentation. So is this just one gift in here? Or is it yes, several? I think it's one gift. Well, first of all, let's read the card. My oh, would you like my favourite letter opener? Oh, I would love to use your favourite letter opener. <laughs> Dear Michael, I very much enjoy watching your vlogs. The wide range of skills is amazing. There is nothing you can't do. Well, I'm sure there's a few things I can't do. You can't put a duck into a bath bomb. No, it's the only thing no. he can't do. You can't put a rubber duck no, into a bath bomb. Definitely can't do that. I had not heard about an Ardor cooker before your vlog, and I found it very interesting. Wow. Enclosed are three collectible Beatrix Potter music boxes that were gifted to me in the mid-70s. It's now time for the rabbits to go home to Beatrix's, uh, I mean Michael's cottage. I hope you like them. Keep up the good work. I'm very much looking forward to seeing the completed cottage. I'm sure it's going to be beautiful, charming and perfect. Yeah, stay well, too. stay safe. Sincerely, Diane. You excited, Philip? Thanks, Very. Diane. Diane is from um, California in the United States. Mm. I want to see the bunnies. I do. Okay, I'll take the box what away. Are these? Yeah, take the box away. Got the note there. I think this one has suffered in transit, that one, I think. I'll have a look. But there's nothing Philip can't glue back together. Yes. <gasps> oh, wow! <gasps> oh! Look at that! So cute. Should we give it a. That is so beautiful! They're lovely! Oh, that's adorable. Let's open the other one. Da -da -da -ba -ba -da 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 -ba oh, look at that one. Oh, I can't see the little faces. These are way too cute. It's a little accident here. Ah, so have you got any super Actually, quickly? yeah, we have. Have you got any? I just want to whack those back on. Put quickly. it straight back on. Okay, we're going to pause quickly. And want to get some super glue. He is an, a dab hand at gluing porcelain back together in this house, which is lucky because our china pantry is going to have a cement floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you need to press hard for 10 seconds. It's gonna be really cute. You're lucky, it's a really clean break. That goes for both of them. Have you got the other one? I'm gonna press them both first. Did you get this one on for first? Does it you not would work? never know, it's such a clean break. No, it works, yeah. Oh, I thought it didn't. So this is a Christmas one. A Christmas one? Yeah, it's a Christmas one. And you know that's going to excite us. Oh. So cute. Oh, I love them. And I like these two together. Yeah. I think these two look amazing together. This one should be put away until it comes out of Christmas, this one, I think. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're darling. They're really darling. Are they a couple? No, they're brother and sister. Oh. Uh, <laughs> definitely not then, Philip. <laughs> yeah, they're brother and sister. Very sweet. They are. They're darling. What a beautiful gift. And I think I know. Uh, but Flopsy Bunny did actually marry um, Peter's cousin, Benjamin. <laughs> I know this. Yeah, I, I know this. So, <laughs> first cousins is a great... Yes. Maybe so. <laughs> with bunnies it's different. I think it's very different with bunnies. With rabbits, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I know what I'm handing to you next. What's I, the next one? I spotted something mm -hmm. in the Michael Petrick gift box. Oh. This is from Susan Hill. I think I know what this is. <laughs> oh, it's Peter Rabbit oh. English breakfast tea. 40 tea bags in a lovely tin. Is that gorgeous? Oh, it this is, is a very similar pose to the one he's got. Look with the it's upside oh, it down. Is, yeah, it's the same one. It's a it's a famous illustration from the book anyway, so yeah, it's the same one. <laughs> there you go. 
Oh, well, that was thank meant you so to be. much. They're absolutely not. And who is this one from? Because it doesn't say. Does it say? You heard the letter? It's on there. Oh, it's from Susan Hill. That one's from Susan. This one's from Susan Hill. Thank you, Susan Hill, for the tea. And thank you so much, Diane, for these, because they're absolutely beautiful. I will treasure these. And um, I'm not sure whether I should put them in the cottage, or maybe they could go into the chateau's nursery. Oh, they, they really belong in a chateau nursery. Do you think so? I think so. They're too beautiful. Yeah. I think they're absolutely stunning. Now maybe they should go into. Imagine how Ernest will be really happy listening to those. Yeah. We've created a bit of a Be Beatrix Potter section of the table here, which is very pleasing. And what I decided to do for the next gift mm -hmm. was just put a big pile of gifts in front of you, as though it's your stocking on Christmas Day and you're opening lots of presents. So many They're gifts. All from different I can't people. Believe it. So yeah, many. so many that I'm going to fortify myself with a chocolate whilst you're opening them. That's a good idea. This one hasn't got a note. It's me. <laughs> I remember I also received one. I had the same one of you. Yeah. Oh, so, really? Uh, yeah, I have That's that me, photo um, of you. flouncing down the grand staircase it. with the velvet curtains that I made. I think it's such a gorgeous photo. Do you think? Yes, it's nice, isn't I it? I love it. I love the curtains, actually. Really, that was such very, a really nice cool. thought to take that and but print it out. Who was that out. from? I cannot remember the name. It's, it's not here, but I received exactly the same photo, and I love it. Okay, let's put you near Peter oh, Rabbit. Colour, isn't it? Oh, what's this? Bunting! Yes, we got lots of wonderful things at Christmas. I remember. Oh, I mm. love this. And what, what's on it? They've got patties on it. Yes. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. I can take that. Ooh, you made a right little pile down there. Oh, I just like all them down there. Oh, it's not plain bunting. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. no. Not just any bunting. Oh, wow, look at this. We got the same. Yeah. All embroidered. The tw 12 days of Christmas and no. each day it's exactly what and corresponds to that day. Yes. Oh, look. Three French hens. Four. Turtle three. doves. Five oh. gold rings. The uh, one everyone it's, knows. It's two turtle doves. Or what's the... No, four. they go down. Four yes. calling birds, three French uh, hens, two turtle doves and a partridge in a, partridge in a, in a, pear a tree. tree. So you've got all of them. Geese right? are laying, swans are swimming. Eight maids are milking. Eight maids are milking. Nine. Lords are leaping. Dancers dancing. Dancers dancing. Dancers dancing. Is it dancers dancing? Ten something. That could be lords are leaping. Do you know no, what? I don't know. Unless I do them. Drummers drumming. Twelve drummers drumming. Pipers piping. Eleven pipers piping. Lords are leaping. Dancers dancing. Maids are milk. milking. Yep. Swans are swimming. Geese are laying. Five, Five gold, gold rings, rings. Four, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pantry. <laughs> That's amazing. That's yeah. going to go up at Christmas. In the cottage. Well, it's quite a long time till Christmas. I know, but I feel it's, like I'm really getting into the Christmas It's probably only about six months till Christmas. Oh, why does it go so fast? The older I get, I think time just seems to travel faster. We've got my work cut out for that. So what happens when I'm like, much much older is it going to feel like yeah, a year is going to feel like a like month that. time's like it's really scary really scary <sighs> wait we've got more gifts well, here these are i know that one gift is from cheryl but yeah. we don't know which gift for your room at la lande so that would have made sense and this would have made sense both of those would so maybe they're sense. both what is this balancing and... oh great oh so it's a is it tea or is My it a candle goodness. Tea. Oh, it's lovely old oh, grey tea bags in these little silky can bags. I smell one of your of tea bags. You Thank you very much, sir. Oh, that's a nice wow. one. Wow. One, two. There's only four in there, but they're they're they pack a punch. Oh, no, that's wow. Very precious for. That's gorgeous. That's delicious. Where are they from? It just says Cheryl. Was it this one was from Cheryl? I'm not sure. That's the thing. Because Natty's not here. Maybe and it was that so one. We had the box, but she's I the one with all the knowledge. The ribbon fits. Oh, like the ribbon fits. It's like Cinderella, isn't it? I checked it? and the ribbon fits this one too. Oh, does it? Mm. It could be both. Mm -hmm. Could be both. So I'm not sure if it, this one isn't from Cheryl. These or... candles are incredible. We received oh, some wow. candles as well. Blonde tabac. Yes. And I had one of those in my study and it smells so good. Some of my favourite fragrances. So you've got um, uh, tobacco, vanilla and sandalwood. And you got the tobacco candle in yes. the last opening. And I've also got a tobacco vanille um, tobacco of any fragrance. Your Tom wear. Ford. Yeah. That um, smells really this is, good. That's, which is Can I smell this one? Vanilla and tobacco mm. vanilla. That's really, 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 really nice. It's very fresh, actually. You'd think mm. it would be really dark, mm. but... 
Tobacco is a very nice, sweet smell. It's not like cigarettes at all. It's quite light and cologne-y, but with an interesting yeah. undertone. Mm. It's I like it. a bit like shaving cream. It does a little bit, it's yeah. Like a really nice yeah, one, a yeah. beautiful shaving cream. I, I love, love that. Mm, snap. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, the tin as well, because that's very unusual for a candle to be yeah, in a tin like that. It's gorgeous. Oh, that is amazing. Well, thank you very much to whoever that's from, because that, I'm not sure if it's the one's from Cheryl or maybe no, they were both from sure. Cheryl. I don't know. But then there's also... Hopefully these... in the comments you can let us know. Yeah, please let us know because we... the thing is there's so many gifts that will go into a box and then they may have been, they may have been in a box They, they were part with of other bigger gifts. gifts, exactly. And we will yeah. already have thanked the person who sent yeah. them, but then we'll put your gift to one okay, side. Okay, well, as long as they've been thanked. Oh, they have, yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, thank um, you anyway. Look at those lovely tea bags. The smell is extraordinary from these. Exquisite. It is exquisite. I've never smelled an Earl Grey that, that, no. that, that lovely. Oh, Maybe cool. that's what's real that's quality Earl Grey should mm. smell like. And we've just never experienced just it. Just never experienced it. And this is, it just says Michael Petrick, but it doesn't say who it's from. Ooh, but by bees. the looks of it, it's mittle, Mistletoe Kiss. Ah, uh, again, preparing you for Christmas. I think maybe these were a lot of Christmas presents, but mm. I wasn't here for Christmas, so I didn't get them. Should we have a look, though? Yes. Let's take them out. Well, for a start, you've got a hair tie. I'm not sure how useful that's going to be well, for you. Burt's Bees Peony Lip Shimmer. That might have to go to you, Stephanie. Thank you. Because, although... No, not your thing? No, I, I don't mind. I, but just maybe, yeah, maybe not lip shimmer for me. I don't know if it's going to really... That's not my thing. I don't really wear lip shimmer. Yet. Yet. <laughs> so the first so this time one's for everything. You. It's peony lip shimmer. Peony lip shimmer. Thank you. I've actually got some lipstick on, so I don't know if we'll be able to see what it does, but I'm going to try. I'll switch it in your hand. Well, this Good is idea. pomegranate... Moisturising lip balm. Oh, well, that's it. If that hasn't got um, and this colour. is a tinted lip balm with hibiscus. So maybe I that would probably be better in your collection. Now let's have a little look. And I'll keep the pomegranate moisturising lip balm. Oh, I got very lucky here. You did. That's a very very mild tint. I like that very much. Mm. And now let's try the other one. This was the lip shimmer. I'm going to try this, this one. This is the lip tint. Oh, it smells amazing. This smells rosy. Are they plump? They are plump. They're delicious. You know what? They're ready for kissing under the mistletoe. Well, there's something for both of us. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much, Michael. Very and welcome. thank you for whoever sent these to Michael. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming they came in a larger box mm. of gifts for, for people I've lulled. By the way, these are liqueur chocolates. So ah. don't just ignore them, not realising how good they are, because you might not have realised. And they're great. They're trying to be good, but I, to be honest, I've... When I arrived here, there was a full, the dining room table was completely full of chocolates and sweets that have been sent for, as gifts. Yeah. And I did indulge. And I've been really good in Madrid. I haven't had any sweets, no chocolates, don't, no cakes. Don't blame us. Eating healthily, you know, was having things like apples and bananas for breakfast instead of, you know, when they get here and it's <laughs> yeah. all... Goes to pot. It all just, just goes, goes wrong, to yeah. pot. So, did you want the hair tie? No, I didn't want the hair tie, actually, because I don't have any hair tie to... But, but, but you and Philip are welcome to fight Philip, over it. I, I got these. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Do you want the hair tie? No, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> the hair ties. I'm turning into my mother. I saw that straight away. Useful oh. thing. Oh, what was that? <laughs> so there's some cognac, some armagnac, some calvados, and some whiskey. So I don't know which one you had. <laughs> Gasoline to <laughs> That was <laughs> almond yolk. Mm. Absolutely disgusting. Oh. I love them. Looks as though no, I was No, it's nice actually. Lot. It's just, I wasn't expecting. I warned that, you. I said it was liqueur chocolate. That gush of pure alcohol. <laughs> no, I mean, it's liquid that. inside. It's liquid inside mm, the chocolates. They're delicious. So, what's this one? I just don't know. But you know who this is from then? This is from Cindy. This Cindy Fleer. So, Cindy Fleer. Mm. Send me a note. Let's read that one, shall we? These all feel very Christmassy, these ones. It's possible. We've been keeping gifts for you mm. at least since Christmas. Well, I haven't seen you since was it September or was it August? No, no don't say that because it's horrible. And you must never let that happen again. No, I won't let it happen. And again. quite a few cat actually took with her to uh, to you. Yes, cat took some gifts to you. She took some. Yeah. She took. She bought your Christmas present to me. Mm -hmm. Which, I heard what happened, it nearly got binned. Well, I 
Basically, because the gardener's cottage was so full, yeah. I, I put a load of boxes oh, I know that. downstairs I, I know that well. in the laundry room. I thought they're safe there, yeah. nobody's going to chuck them away. I put loads of things, that other gifts that people sent me, some of my own things I'd bought, I put them yeah. all in a big box. And then when I went to the dishettery, which is where you, you know, like where you take all of your rubbish, the box appeared from under the pile. Somebody thought it was rubbish and put it on the trailer with all the rubbish. I don't believe it. So your Christmas present to me and other gifts, plus also like light fittings and things that I bought for the cottage, <laughs> almost got thrown away. And it's a good job I was there because I nearly didn't go that day. Yeah, but they were saved. They were saved. I saved yes. them. Thankfully. Mm. The lovely um, tea set. Was it Was it a tea or was it coffee? Because they were quite big. They're, they're so big. I don't really know. I just got it because the monogram. It had the M on it. Yeah, it's such beautiful, a beautiful white monogram. and gold. More like a creamy yeah. white and gold. And they're huge. I but thought and all the pinks were amazing. really big, weren't they? Yeah. Thank you, by the way. That's a pleasure. Thank you for that. Um, dear Michael, thank you for all you do to provide great inspirational videos for the world. I'm a subscriber of yours um, from day one from Stephanie's channel. I too love Beatrix Potter. It was my childhood uh, children's nursery theme when they were Aww. babies. Oh. I love your energy and your spirit. Keep the joy in your heart always. Sincerely, Cindy Fleer. Oh, thanks, Cindy. Well, That's I think so reading nice. that is a sign that these do have to go to the chateau nursery. I think they do have to go to the chateau yeah. nursery, yeah. So Until you we... have a little nursery of your own. I don't know if I'll have a nursery. Little Michaels. No, there probably won't be a little Michael. Never know. You never know. Oh, that's wow. a lovely paisley tie. Oh, that would go really well with your new jacket that you bought in mm -hmm. Bordeaux. It will. Mm. It will. It's gorgeous. Look at it that. is. The quality it, of that. The colours as well. Oh, the sheen. Mm. I'm going to be fending Selma off with this, aren't I? Oh, yeah. You're chasing he's me around still, after. Oh, I think he's literally, the camper van just arrived. Is that right? That's correct. Yes, yeah. I thought that he's the camper van just arrived. He just got sea. back, but he's resting this evening. So was he, did he go to the sea or did he go to a lake? No, we didn't. Well, I thought he'd gone to the sea, but it turns out he went to a lake. Oh, okay. That's lovely, Cindy. Thank you so much. I'm going to put that with my collection of ties. I've got some lovely ones that were given to me here at Christmas one, mm. one year. Was it Ma M Mary? She got me some amazing robes because Mary knew that I love vintage dressing gowns. Yeah. And she went to Imaus and over weeks had been collecting the best, weirdest, most eccentric vintage dressing gowns. Yeah, but it wasn't just the way that she, it was the way she presented yeah. them because everything was pressed perfectly yes, and perfectly folded and wrapped in tissue paper. Perfectly wrapped. Yeah, they were like, wonderful. it was amazing. Really nice. Well, I, think one one I really hope so. We so this one, this one is for Michael Patrick. Okay, lovely Christmas card. Um, I feel, it feels like Christmas. It's bizarre. Know, it really Christmas does. in uh, May. Okay, this is a long letter. So, dear Michael, I found your vlog through Stephanie and have so much um, and have so much enjoyed seeing your plans for the cottage come to life, as well as learning about your many interests. Everything from beer to Potter to Argo Cookers has been fascinating to me. By the time you receive this, you may be nearing completion of your project, and hopefully, we'll be able to spend Christmas in your lovely new place. Well, we, I managed to cook Christmas dinner in there, but I mm, haven't moved in yet. Have to move in. I live near Colonial Williamsburg. Oh, I really want to visit. Which is a living history museum depicting 18th century life. During the season, the Fife and Drums Corps parade down the Duke of Gloucester Street every morning playing the 18th century military field music. I was recently taking a walk in the historic area and picked out this ornament for drummer for you as a small token of my thanks for all the joy your vlogs and posts have brought to me. When you look at it, I hope you will remember the many people all over the world you have touched with your vlogs. Thank you for sharing your journey and family with us in the vlogs. They've meant so much to me during this pandemic as a window to the outside where life can still be happy and opportunity is just around the corner. All the best from Victoria Nielsen, Providence Forge, Virginia. Well, we received stunning decorations for the mm -hmm. tree. I received um, a little replica of an 18th century carriage, horse-drawn carriage. No. Yeah. And Marie got a beautiful lantern. Really? So I, I think this must be part of the same set. <gasps> Let's have a look. I'm excited to see it now. Mm. That's a lovely letter. Thank you very much. I'm really excited to see this. So this is a drummer. A drummer. So the, is it a piper piping or a drummer drumming? I, I might think it was a drummer. I'm confusing myself with the um, 12 Days of Christmas. Let's have a look. Drummer, yes. Is it a Christmas decoration? Yes. Oh, it's amazing. Oh. How fantastic is that? 
Yeah, no, right, I'm actually great. putting together a collection of Christmas decorations because obviously the ones that we have at home are the family ones yes. that go out every year. But obviously, I've been. You need put, yours for I've your been, tree. Eventually, I'm gonna, you know, have my own tree, which I had Christmas, but that is really nice. It came all the way from America. It's actually gorgeous. It is really well made. I love that. Yeah, me too. Beautiful. Love his costume. Yeah, you need one of these. I, I think Philip, these, yeah. I can see you in this. Mm, sure. You look great in this. In the beach is. I've got the hair. Yeah. The tie back. Oh yeah, see? Yeah. Little, little Philip style going on there. Yeah. And you were saying that you would really like to ask Sean to make you one of the Bridgerton costumes yeah, that, that we to. had. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? If you have another 18th century... Oh, well, no, no, actually, it wasn't 18th. Was it 18th century, Bridgerton, or was it... Early 19th. Early, really very early 19th, 19th century. What, what Regency style. Mm. Yeah. If I had my way, Selma and Philip would wear that every day. Thank you so much for this. Thank you so much for the tie. Everything that I've opened so far, I absolutely love these. I'm going to take these all back with me tomorrow. Oh, drama. Is there anything for you? Uh, yeah, we've got a couple of gifts. Not many, but we we put a couple aside that we yeah. hadn't managed to open last time. Natty's not back yet, so she hasn't been able to give us the next lot. But the okay. ones that we didn't manage to open last time, we're going to open this we'll time. Do now, then. Okay, let's open this one for that. Okay. Ooh, there seems to be a lot in here. What are these for? I don't know name. Ooh. Okay, a lot of these we'll be putting aside. Oh, what's that? The premiere. It's tonight's premiere. Oh. Okay, I think we have time to open these and then we'll go into the premiere, okay, okay. pause the video, and then come back. So Marie, mm -hmm. we'll put this Natty. aside. Natty, that aside. So many. Philip! Oh. I have a <laughs> Philip. Dana, and I think that this one is... This is yours. Oh, I didn't realise I had one. Percy and Isabel. Okay, so we have all of those for everyone else. Well, let's open ours. Okay. These are from Stella who sent us great gifts before. And in fact, I think I have something here for your mother, for you to take back oh, really? to her from Stella and well, her she, sister. She'll be here tomorrow and give it to her in person. I think it's a necklace. Oh, oh, I've definitely got a necklace. Oh, <gasps> that's lovely. Oh, that is stunning. I like it. So basically, when I came downstairs today, you said that I looked incredibly 80s. Yes. And you were like, I mean, I like it, but is it too 80s? And I said, I don't think it's possible to be too 80s. <laughs> So this, this is the finishing touch that what the you're outfit missing. needed. I like that and I love that at the back. Isn't it snuffly. gorgeous? That's very sparkly. I love it. Okay, I'm putting this on straight away. I really like this. Stella, it's beautiful. Let's see if I can stop it twisting. That does actually look really good. Yeah. Wow, it's yeah. perfect. That looks really Absolutely good. Absolutely fantastic. Stella, thank you so much. Thank I you. love it. It's Stella and Claudine, who are sisters, but who live quite far apart and sent gifts before. And in fact, well, whilst we're looking at them, Michael, mm -hmm. I, I just saw in the box of things for you that this was there for your mother. Mm -hmm. And I know that this was also from Stella and Claudine. Look, Sherry Pethrick. Oh, what's that? What's a lovely key ring. Look how pretty. Oh, that's a lovely. A star. She'll love that. It's a little bird. Oh. It's absolutely beautiful. That is lovely. She'll love that. So you can give that to her tomorrow, Michael. Yeah. It's so sweet of them to think of everyone. Right? Everyone. Even Oliver and Camilla, it's so kind. Thank you. You're missing your premiere, by the way. Oh, we must go into the premiere. Okay, so we're going to pause, yep. go into the premiere, and then we'll carry on filming after. Thank so you so much. Don't be surprised Stella. if the lighting suddenly changes. Yeah, the sun might go down in the meantime, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll join you again after the premiere. See you later. Bye. Dum, 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 dum. <gasps> Did you enjoy the premiere? Yeah, I loved it. But you've got more presents to open. I know. The evening is still young. Let's get some more open, shall we? <laughs> this one is to me. Yay! <laughs> this is like the ones the we colors. didn't manage to open like last the... time. So um, it's going to be a shorter cadeau than usual, I think. Okay. Uh, ooh. I got the idea for these aprons as soon as Ollie lamented the lack of manly aprons. 
Mm-hmm. But due to the pandemic, some supplies were hard to come by, and then I lost my inspiration. So they've been sitting for a while now. I suddenly realised that it is almost Christmas and they're still sitting here, so I finally completed them. I hope to get them in the mail to you so that you'll receive them in time for Easter, considering the slowness of the post and how far behind you are in opening gifts. Well, we missed Easter, but not by much. I think by about three, four weeks. Yeah. So yeah, no, not, not by much. You weren't far mm-hmm. off with your guesswork. I figured the red one would match all of Jerry's red tartans. The others are not specific to any one manly man, though I'm sure Oliver would like first pick as he is the inspiration. I thought the plain apron with the flowers would be a nice compromise to your rule of all the aprons are floral. I hope that the flowers and bees haven't all fallen off. That iron-ons that I got from a local Toronto craft on Etsy. The lettering is done by hand, by me, with fabric paint. You can machine wash, but hang to dry. Again, I hope the iron-ons all stay stuck after washing. And now the men can leave your froofy aprons and have their own. You leave my froofy aprons alone, the pair of you. <laughs> I wasn't planning on touching any of them. Wow. Let's have a look at these. So this is Gerald. In fact, it's definitely Gerald because it says Scott Manley. Oh, Scott oh. Manley. That's the first time someone has said Scott Manley. I like that red one. Oh... Yeah, but it's not for you. It's for Scott Man. I am just showing the world what it's going to look like on Scott Man. Very manly. Mm-hmm. See, mm. Gerald, get that knee fixed and get here. In the future apartment, that'll be in the kitchenette. Manly man, manly man. Manly men wear florals. <laughs> well, that's a good one. And manly men wear floral. So I think we need to... I think some of these are longer than the others. So that's a full apron. Look. This is a full apron yeah. too. We've got to choose the best them? one for Ollie. Let's model them, and then we? And then you two choose which ones you like. Okay. So. <clears throat> okay. Really, I shouldn't be... In fact, Philip, we're swapping. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Manly men wear Whoa. florals. Oh, don't they just... Can I just say that you're both looking very manly? As usual, Philip just shrink wrapped his to size. <laughs> I'm breathing in. <gasps> tighter, tighter, Michael, oh, tighter. I still don't understand that phrase in English. Shrink wrapping. No, from breathing in, like to finish. Oh yourself. yeah, and the English say breathe in to look slimmer because it makes your diaphragm go in. Maybe the See? Oh the yeah, same it does. Thing. If you if you if you dive. Diaphrag- Can you show us? No, but if your diaphragm, if you breathe in, your diaphragm goes down. It's supposed to. Well, it's a singer's way, at least. That's why I'm always like, why? Why breathe in? You I think the Dutch... You think breathe out? You think yeah. breathe out would make, would make um, you know, shrink everything. But breathing out would shrink the chest, but not the stomach. I think breathing in puffs out your chest and therefore yeah, makes your waist why? look smaller. But, like, in music college, we were always told to, like, breathe very low. Yeah. So if you do that, then it's... That doesn't really help. So it makes it worse. I like it. Well, whatever you're doing... Is working, both of you. Good. Whether it's in, out, I don't know, but you're looking great. Mm. So we might be <laughs> might be fighting fighting uh, over these aprons with Oliver, to be honest. What are the what like are the little ones? One. I like this blue one. The blue ah uh, oh, that's the that's for Scott's mine. Here it is. Ooh. That is a mini skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Very manly. Now that is manly, man. Imagine that with no pants underneath. I'm actually, I was imagining it, to be fair to me, I was imagining it with swimming trunks, manning a barbecue by the pool. Uh, I was thinking more sort of that and then nothing behind. Oh, were you now? (laughs) Were you? (laughs) Well, if that's the way you want to wear it, like... It's like butlers in the buff. Yeah. Uh, yes. yeah. <laughs> oh, who are you up to in Madrid? <laughs> no, none of that in Madrid. I'm just talking, no, it's a thing, isn't it? You can hire them, but there's in the buff like for hen pen dues and lady oh, well. parties. I don't think there's many in Causon sur to be honest. <laughs> You know, if you two ever need to make a little cash on the side, you've got the butlers in the buff outfit now. <laughs> Waiters in the buff. I like it. Mm, good. I quite like the double apron that you're going for, both of you. Thank you. What can we cook for you, the, the, the two chefs? Seriously. The two chefs in the buff. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, no, you're still not in the buff, Michael. <laughs> um, just imagine them. <laughs> okay, if I could have anything right now. <gasps> I think I know what you want. Cheese on toast. Yeah. <laughs> it's the middle of the night. <laughs> We've got red wine. I would like cheese on toast. That's what I always used to have yeah. as a child. It's an evening snack. Is, is uh, cheese on toast. And I used to like mine with put a bit of Marmite on top of the cheese before you melt it. Oh, we've got oh, it's Marmite. Delicious. Worse and worse. It's so <laughs> <great>. <laughs> Philip's like, you can have Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Oh, well, actually, I really like cheese on toast with Worcestershire sauce. Mm. Worcestershire. I like it with Marmite. Worcestershire. <laughs> yes. 
Worc- Worcestershire. It was, it was Worcestershire. me. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. You can, you can actually say Worcester sauce, just to shorten it. A lot of people do. Okay, after opening these gifts, <laughs> I think that we should go and what? <laughs> You ran food. Um, no, the British do say Worcester sauce. Okay. They do, yeah. You can trust us on this one. Worcestershire sauce. You can say Liam Perrins, like the person in the comments. Who? The, somebody in the comments of the, of the premiere just says, because you couldn't say Worcestershire sauce in the last video, so they just said Liam Perrins for it. <laughs> Liam Perrins. It's a, it's a make. Uh, yeah. So which one is going to be for Oliver? So, oh, I I think... Maybe we should put them both to one side. And let, I think I think he will not mind you wearing them tonight to make me some cheese on just, toast. No, keep, keep <laughs> I think you just want cheese on toast. Keep clean. <laughs> oh, and Oliver is hoping to be here. Really? Yeah, in Good. a few weeks' time. So hopefully he'll be able to come and enjoy the apron. I can't wait to meet him. Yeah, he's he's so he's lovely. Nice yeah, Very really nice. lovely. Thank you so much, Rebecca. I mean, they're great. Now I'm going to say thank you, Rebecca, on behalf of. Um, Scott Manley. Um, <laughs> Scott Manley. <laughs> and um, Ollie. Manly Ollie. And you're going to be one able to wear one of the manly aprons whenever you're here. Oh, yeah, I'm sure, because I really have had enough of the floral ones. <laughs> yeah, but floral, manly men wear the floral, florals. Yes. The floral pinny. I mean, I mean your title sequence, aren't I? I do the little thing. Oh, yeah, 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 you are. Yeah. And a little curtsy. Next time Philip feels like cooking up some blue garlic, he's got the outfit. What's with the blue garlic? I love the blue garlic. That's what I thought. <laughs> we have two more gifts for Lelan, and then we have a huge gift yeah. for Michael. It's a massive box, so we'll end on that one. Really? We're I can't just wait going to, to see open this. So, Isabel Jarvis, could you, you sure? open this? <laughs> Are you sure that I should be doing Yeah, mommy will want to see what it is. Okay. Um, so, let's but, have, have a look. But you've got to do the voice. You have, you to, can't do, you have, to, not. You have to do no the voice. Way. Stephanie, you know stupid girl! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> okay. Is there a note? Ah. The enclosed moccasins. Oh, lovely moccasins. Are handmade by me for Isabel. <gasps> oh, wow. my goodness. Oh, there's a little note. There, there is. It. There's another note inside. Mummy, I will read this to you. Isabel, I've seen you wear Crocs, wellies, beautiful high heels and sandals and thought... She needs moccasins. So what are moccasins? The sole is moose hide. The oh. rest of the moccasin is made of deer hide. I'm 62 for now and have been making moccasins since I was 14. I'm a Mohawk woman from Six Nations of the Grand River in Ontario, Canada. Thank you, Percy, for her shoe size. Oh, that's really sweet. Percy sent the shoe size. Oh, there it is. Oh, they're lovely. Your talent. Hat. Oh, wow. These are spectacular. I will not be able to model them for mommy because I have much bigger feet than my mother to my great I shagger. That. I, I know that my mother is going to be incredibly touched by these and will love them. Yeah. They're so soft. It's like butter, the leather. Ooh. And I and love the, the colour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the colour's so beautiful. The detail around yes, the... Yes, look at all of the... Showing. All of the sort of weaving Oh, wow. Here. That's so well made. Well, this is a beautiful, beautiful gift. Thank you so very much. They're wonderful. They're wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so mummy's not here, but we are at least uh, trying to do her voice for yeah. you. I know she'll be saying this as she watches. Thank you so much. I like I really like yeah, that yellow yeah, colour. Beautiful. Love them. So this is my last gift of the day. Yes. This came from Amazon, so I don't know who it's from. It's a little oh. bit with it. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. It's stuck in the inside. Oh. I've been wanting to get this book, but this actual book. A small gift of thanks. I trust the food produced in this cookbook will be enjoyed by all. It's one of my faves. With much love and best wishes, patron from Australia. Thank you, Alison. I have been wanting this book. Salt, sugar, smoke. How to preserve fruit, vegetables, meat, and fish. And this is quite a famous book yeah. by Diana Henry. So Nigella Lawson says, there are just so many recipes I long to try out. My copy is littered with post-its. Nice. I mean, it starts with your favorite thing, right? Salt. So exactly, <laughs> salt. Salt with salt, it can't, can't go wrong. White peach and raspberry jam. Raspberries. 
So when we get the fruits from the orchard that Dan's just been replanting, tapenade, Chinese style plum sauce, mm. West Indian hot pepper sauce. No one will have that in this house. Oh, I'll have it. I love West Indian pepper <laughs> Finally, sauce. Finally, we can spice Maybe it. Scotch bonnets. Oh, Ooh, oh that, that, that that's a definite good. gooseberry curd. <clears throat> Mike and I were looking at the gooseberries in the garden just a couple of days ago. And he, he had his first job with picking gooseberries. <laughs> So we put that one there so that we have... Yes, go. yes. And gooseberries are, I think, my favourite fruit, actually. Really? Yes. And I love curd. Lemon curd is. Oh, I love lemon mm. curd. Mm, 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 mm. Sounds good. Though I think you won't have much of the curd because it's all butter, isn't it? I made lemon curd with olive oil and honey. Is that doable? It actually works. Really? So okay. you replace the butter... Um, with you re replace the butter with olive oil. Um, I should try that. And you replace the and you replace the um, the sugar with um, honey, and it still and it makes a lemon curd. Sounds good. Yeah, it sounds really good with gooseberry. Yeah. But maybe um, if you could, you didn't want the really olive oily taste. You could maybe use like a vegetable oil, which was like yeah. a little bit less flavour. But yeah, it works with olive oil. Yeah, well, the lemon really, really covers the flavour of the olive oil. So let's try it. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Ooh, duck. Duck oh, duck. Duck confit. I love duck. How to confit your own duck. So now we're onto the sort of salting section. Rose syrup. Mmm, rose syrup. So Japanese pickled mackerel. <gasps> Beetroot cured gravlax. Oh, I love Ooh. that. Oh, imagine that Christmas. Oh. Can we try that out? Definitely. Good. Sometimes we just have so many things that we need to try and preserve. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this book is going to be a godsend then. Alison, thank you. This is going to be used time and time again in I the kitchen. I'm trying multiple of those recipes out. Definitely. All yeah. right. You're going to be cooking no, them. No, that's not what I said. You're going to be cooking I mean, with them you, in with the you. Manly apron. There's no way that I'm going to be left to do all the cooking. Manly men wear florals. I, do you want blue beetroot to like? We'll cook together. <laughs> okay. It'll be really fun. <laughs> Thank you, Alison. Right, last gift of the night. And I left this till last because it just looks so exciting. Whoa, this is and a heavy big box. First of all, who is it from? Lions Parade Designs, Ryan Donnelly. Do you remember that? Yes. Did he send me the... Um, the broom. The broom, The yes. beautiful handmade broom. Yeah. Was it, wasn't there some other stuff with the broom? Or was I got it fabrics. Extraordinary oh. fabrics. Wow. This is a big box. This must have cost a lot of money to send. I just want to say thank you just for yeah. the postage costs alone before I even opened mm. it. Should we open it? I've been dying to look in here. Look, I didn't even Is this repeat. a note or can I cut through this? You can cut through that. Okay, that's the address, so yes. we'll cover that. I'm so excited. I love watching people open presents. I always want to know what's inside the box. Let's take that Yeah, take that out. There we go. I see Disney, I see oh. a carriage, I see a lot of exciting things. Well, let's have a look at this first of all. What is this? It's a Disney carrier bag. That castle is what led me astray in the first place. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that castle's castle. got a lot to oh, answer for. What are these? The tea towels. I think so. Are well, they napkins? I think they're tea towels. I think they're tea towels. I like that. I oh, like this lovely. one That's lot. really nice. Really love that. That's kind of like this sort you get in. It's Disney. <gasps> no. Have you yeah. seen that? How is it? Yeah, no, Mouse's. I haven't seen it. Mickey Mouse. Well, it looks so elegant. I did. I thought it was. I thought it was from some kind of. How is that possible? Yeah. Oh, it's got the Mickey Mouse's as well. No. Look at Mickey's. Wow. Look at Mickey's there yeah. as well. And there. They should sell tiles like that, shouldn't they? Well, actually, the, the first one reminds me of the tile, the floor tiles that we're going to be putting into the china pantry. Oh, really? Yeah, a little bit. The sort mm. of colour. Yeah. I love those. They're okay, fantastic. Great. And they came all the way from which Disney? Well, this one's Disney Paris. Oh, Parks. Sorry, no. Disney, Disney Parks. Parks. But this is, this is, doesn't say. Well, this came from America, this box. Yeah. Florida. So, so it, it must, must be Florida. Disney World. World. Yeah. It still be Disney, Disney World. World. Or Disneyland? No, it's definitely Disney World in, in Florida because I went there when I was 12 with my parents. I really want to go. I've only been to the one in Paris. Yeah. And the one in Paris is quite small, really. We should go together. Compared to the, the American. The one in Paris is so huge. It takes like five days to try and see everything. It's nothing compared. <laughs> nothing compared. Florida. Yeah, serious. Yeah. The one in America is like, it's Disney World, not yeah. like, yeah. yeah. But I been. still think we should go to Paris. Sure. We should go. And then you've got the original one in Anaheim, now, haven't you? The first one. Disney, oh, I don't know Disney, about that. Disney, Disney, it's the one in California. Oh, no, the first, that was the first okay. one. Okay. There was that one, then he opened the one in Florida. I did not And then know they that. opened the one in Disneyland, in Paris. The actual the one in Paris was actually going to be in, in Kent originally. It was, Where gonna you're be, from? it was going to be Disneyland England. 
Yeah, it was going to be in Ashford. Oh, that would be really fun. Near the, near, near the Ashford International mm. train station. But um, I think they thought it would be easier to put it in Paris because it's more, it's easier for people to get to. Otherwise, everyone that goes yes. is going to have to go on well, a plane. Well, it's a lot easier for us to get to. A lot to. easier for us, yeah. Mm. But if it was going to be in England, Disneyland England, that would have been a thing. Oh, I love this. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. It's like a Cinderella It carriage. is, it is. It's so sweet. Can you yes. model it for me, Cinderella? Does it work? It works. It really works. It's really cute. It's really sweet. I love that. You've had a lot of porcelain objects. I love porcelain, They're yeah. adorable I've got, today. I'm running out of space for porcelain, just Ooh. so you know. Oh, there's more porcelain. Oh, now this is a spode. <gasps> Crown I have plate. this one. I use these on Christmas Day. I really? have these spode plates, yes. I have some from this collection, but they're blue. But oh, I don't so have now you've got the cranberry and now you've got a so blue. So if, if you ever... Uh, uh, my <gasps> cottage for Christmas or near yes. Christmas, I can have the blue one and you can have the pink yes, one. Yes, please. That's I love lovely, that. Isn't it? There you go. You can model it my glamorous assistant. I always use it for panettone on Christmas mm. morning. And do you know what these little, the ones, these little ones are great for leaving an immense pie, a carrot and a little something for Santa? Yes. Yes. Perfect because size. Because you don't sneak down later and help him. No, no. No, no. No, no. no, no. <gasps> a blue room plate. Oh, a blue room plate. Oh, you place. lucky thing. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. Oh, oh. that's so nice because you're collecting them now, aren't you? I am you? collecting them, yeah. And I don't have this. No, I don't have this one. I do have a similar Greek one, but not this one. I used to have the big breakfast cup, you know, the really huge yeah. one in this pattern. Really? Yes. But I probably still do, but I think it's it's been glued together a few times uh, by now, yes. but it's like, yes. yeah, keep it going yeah, anyway. Keep it going, yeah. <laughs> I that love is it. Fantastic. That's going to go with the collection. I've got quite a lot of spode though already. Mm -hmm. Going to have to. Can't wait to see it all out. I need a bigger cottage. cottage <laughs> oh, I don't have this one. Well, we you have do. this one. Yeah. Castle. Yes, castle. I have castle. Do you know what? I actually, this is funny. I, I went to buy castle on um, eBay, and apparently the owner, uh, the seller, um, after selling it, said mm -hmm. that they couldn't find it. Oh, no. They couldn't find it, so they cancelled my order and refunded it. So you could get hold so of it. So I know I've got, got I've got Lucano, which is yes, I have Lucano, which I always confuse Lucano with yeah, Castle. Yes, they look really similar. They're so similar, but I tried to buy Castle and couldn't get it. So now I've got it. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Wow. I'm going to give that to you. Um, there's more. There's more. Oh, I like these very much. Is this Burley? Royal Stafford, made in Burslem. 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 I love these. So Michael Potts and Oliver, in yeah. fact, we all went on a trip to yeah. the factory shops in Stoke-on-Trent. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I was there with these two guys and we spent the entire time with them going crazy and buying up half of the factory shops. Mm -hmm. And they got both of them the same dinner service. They got one from Burley, which is actually very similar to mm -hmm. this. And it's all in black like this. And really? so they both got full sets of this. I um, I went to the Stoke on Trent, the, the Spode factory shop. Oh, I can't believe and you went without me. You can't me. help but go crazy. No, you can't. I think I spent about four hundred and fifty pounds in there, mm. and you don't get a lot for it, even though it's all discounted. And when I went, we did. I went. I went with my father. So this is a very long time uh, ago. This is mm -hmm. before. Well, I think we just bought Leland, mm -hmm. and it was just before Spode actually went bankrupt mm -hmm. and then was bought, and. Almost all of the blue and white in the kitchen comes from that trip with my father to Spode. Wow, and Ooh, back then, wild. you could get the, we blue, got, we got a could get lot. the blue room collection. Because if you go to the Spode factory shop now, it's Italian, or they've got one which is Marigold, no, not Marigold, Sunflower. Oh, I don't think I know that one. Sunflower, they've only got those blue ones. They don't have any mm. of the, um, That's such the a blue shame. room collection. Maybe they'll, re, they'll reintroduce they should. some of them. They, they really should. should, they really should. Oh, 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 oh what's in here? Oh, oh there's wow. more. There's, oh. Ah. Ooh. Oh no, poor ah. cool thing, that's in a few pieces. Oh no. Oh, that's such a shame. That looks lovely. We can quickly fix that. You think you can fix that one? Yeah. My Royal May general, general, genuine hand engraving, fine Staffordshire wear, oh. permanent colours made in England. Oh, it's a lovely meat plate. It as is. Well. It's quite, quite clean braids. There's a few pieces, see? but yeah, yeah. it's yeah. clean braids. This is one large piece and then about four pieces like this. And Philip's quite Not good at bad. repairing. Maybe he is, he's really good. have a little go sure. at that for me. Can we see the, the, the plate? Like, yeah, I'm so yes. sorry, yeah. Actually, it's, it's a good break. There's just one tiny piece that's chipped off. 
I'm going to leave them all in here Good. Uh, so they all stay together because yeah. there's just about half, not even half a centimetre okay. where the glaze is in here and needs to be put back okay. on. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it's clean. Perfect. Right, let's put, carefully put That's that. That's really sweet, Philip, thanks. Carefully put that on there. So maybe we can salvage that one. Philip has repaired so many things that have arrived here yes. broken. <laughs> where can I put this that's not going to fall I will move it for you. Put these Thank here. You. Matt, pick that. Is that in one piece? Yes. Yes. There's more. Oh, yes. Yes, there's more. There's more. Oh, this is a nice one. I mean, they're all nice, but this one is very, very pretty. Oh, I'm so glad oh, that wow. one made it in one piece. I really love this one. Isn't that lovely? See, anything with a little distant building, a little bit of water, a bridge. I'm a sucker for that. That is very, very nice. That is Well, that was stunning. an amazing gift. Stunning. And thank you so much because just to post that from, from the States would have cost an absolute fortune. Plus, it's having so to thoughtful. find the stuff as well. So thankful. This stuff's all going to go to the cottage. I'm building a collection of meat plates that can go around the top of the room. So oh, I've got that, that, chef, so that, um, had that shelf made that runs yes. around the top just for these. Specifically for And that. I don't have that now, probably about three or four. Yeah. Four, oh, another one now. And one to go with it. if that one can get repaired, and yeah. that's great because if it's for display. It, yeah, if it's for display, it, it really won't matter. Repaired. No, it won't matter. And sometimes if they're glued together well, you can get them out once, once or twice a year. Just be careful with them. Yeah. yeah. I'm really pleased with those. It's fantastic. Well, I don't know about you two, but now that we've looked at all these plates and we've looked at the cookery book and there's these aprons, mm. I'm just still thinking of cheese on toast. I'm really gagging for a bit of Cooked cheese on toast. Cooked by two men mm -hmm. in aprons. Should we go and do it? Yeah, let's go, yeah, let's, let's go, go and do let's it. Go. Let's put these back here. And whilst Michael and I are faffing with bits of cheese, <laughs> Philip, you're doing such a great job. Thank you. I've got the big piece on. These yes. two small pieces I'm gluing on now, and there's one more piece left. So I can show him what it will look like. Well, oh, oh, great. I can't see the Do join. See the... No, but seriously, I can't see the join. If you hold it right there. Really impressed, honestly. Thanks. Are you ready for the grand reveal? Oh, yeah. <gasps> yes, we're ready oh, for the yes, grand reveal. We are. There you go. Oh, wow. Philip, you worked your magic. Where's the break? Uh, well, multiple places. Many, many, many breaks. I can't see. On this side. I mean, there's I a little bit them. of glaze missing still. I couldn't get yes. the pieces. They were too small. Okay. Um, other than that, you can't really tell. No. Oh, well done. The there. glue is still raised, but when it's yeah. pretty dry, you can just peel it off. Yeah. So Perfect. Goes. Needs to dry for 24 hours, and here you go. Thank you so much. Um, I don't want to hold it where the... If you're, it's okay. this side, yes? Yeah? Okay, Perfect. Let's put this carefully on the table. There we go. And we're gonna serve the cheese on toast on this one. This is so beautiful. It's a really, really nice plate, isn't it? So this is pretty. the goat's cheese with ash. Ash? Yes, you know, the local goat's cheese is wrapped in ash. Oh, really? You both look great in your aprons. Thank you. Real men wear <laughs> florals, right? Absolutely. Manly do. men wear florals. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, Monsieur! Look at we that! We are done bubbling. Oh, bubbling, yes. Yum. Okay, I'll turn this off. It doesn't get much better than this. Midnight snack in the kitchen with two great men. What time is it exactly? So you're looking up? It's, um, it's exactly 11 11. 11 11? Yeah. Not bad. Okay, I'm going to dig into the cornichon and the cheese. Ooh. Bon appétit, guys. I just want to say thank you for all the gifts. I absolutely love them. Um, and I'm going to sit down now with Stephanie and have some lovely cheese on toast and a cup of tea. On your new platter. Look yep. at that. And remember to like the videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget that all the ad revenue from these videos goes to charity. So thank you very much. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>